Yeah. It's real shit. Just gonna roll this weed up and just wrap this shit. You know. Not too much girls. Uh. Coming up, I always thought I'd be the runner up. Gave my all, but it felt like it wasn't enough. I remember spending summers in the studio. My pops told me have fun, be a kid for once. What he ain't know is for a kid that I had big dreams. I take a small frames, turn into a big screen. Taking best friends, turn them to a good team. I'm watching Scarface, living all the good scenes. Burning dope, thinking about the days when I was broke. Desperate niggas in my city don't know how to cope. Young nigga said he's starving, he ain't got a meal. Down to catch a body, all about a dollar bill. My niggas is all I got, so it's more than trust. We ain't even have a car, we was on the bus. Public transportation, now it's hundred grams we making. Throw it in the safe, I can't hear what they say. I'm packing up my bags, packing up my bags, packing up my bags. Uh, I gotta catch a plane, gotta catch a plane, gotta catch a plane. At what age did Evan really take basketball seriously? Um, four, I think. He was about four and his dad bought him basketball. And he just, I used to have to almost really have to spank him and tell him to come in the house because he would have this little, little tights basketball goal in the garage. And it would, he would be out in the garage all night just shooting basketball, talking about he was Michael Jordan. So it was like about four when he was really serious, like he just thought he was Michael Jordan. Yeah. What I ride by, I want you to see what I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit's very clear. Uh, first time I met E, when we started preseason, um, he was uh, a hard worker. Every time he went in the weight room, he was all, all serious. Um, he wanted to motivate the team, always lifted hard, always ran hard. Uh, just left a great impression on me. It made me really want to strive to make this team better. Hell yeah. Uh, great ball player, too. Love playing the world. Cause I got the vision, counting my Benjis Putting it all in the bank, but I don't really mind if I spend it Can't take it all across the line when you finish When you stay all on your grind, you can get it When we be fucking, I'm climbing up in it She fuck on me because I got the vision He scored 157 points, ran 90 rebounds. He has a career high 17 points versus Concordia this year, and ran a career high 8 rebounds last year at East Texas Baptist. Our paying athletics would like to thank Evan Baker. The interview. Okay, now what the f they talk about? It's like they never heard the words that came up by my 
my mouth It's like they just wanna discredit what I'm all about I'll be in the studio, the mother falling out Yeah, you know we ballin' out, peace and love What is Evan's relation to Shaq? <laughs> oh, well, Shaq is his godfather. He told you that? Mm -hmm. um, that's his godfather. Um, so that's his relationship to him. He's been, Shaq basically became his godfather officially uh, in, uh, at five, when he was five years old. He, he christened him. <laughs> what changes have you seen in Evan on, over the years, on and off the board? Uh, on the court, I think I've seen him just really, really come into his own and mature. Um, he and taking basketball really, really seriously. i um, just you know trying to perfect his game over the taking summer breaks and, and not really even taking summer breaks but he would just like work out with like John Lucas and you know Clyde Drexler had him in a camp working out and Shaquille had him working out one summer and every summer he would evolve and, and really decide I'm going to focus on this, I'm going to focus on my free throws, I'm going to focus on my ball handling and so I just seen him evolve really just trying to perfect his game on the court every summer and trying to get stronger instead of we used to call him skinny and he used to try to get stronger and bigger and buff up. Off the court, just really maturing. Um, to me, he didn't take his classes serious. He was more focused and serious about basketball than he was his classes. And then as time went on, I started having conversations with him and it was more mature conversations. Well, I'm like, okay, he's really maturing, you know, and where I can hold the a real conversation with him instead of just like, you know, mother son, it was more adult adult. So I'm just that I'm really seeing him evolve both ways. We all know Kobe Bryant is your favorite but What kind of impact did he have on your overall skills? He had a big impact because it was somebody that I've always looked up to, no matter if it was just him scoring or defense, just the way he played, the way he leaded, it's pretty much any aspect of my game I wanted to model that game. What is your overall philosophy of the game? How do you see yourself on the basketball court? An aggressive score, a uh, top notch defender, or just a street defender? I'll probably say all three, but it's in a streaky way. So, I mean, some days I can be a good defender, some days I can be an aggressive ass score. So, Okay, Evan, we know you plan to try to go overseas. Where would you like to go? Any dream destinations? How long would you like to stay? Uh, no dream, but over the past couple of summers, I've been talking to my mom's friends' husbands, and they play in Puerto Rico and South Korea, and they just tell me how much fun it is. It's something that is in the back of my mind, but I'm definitely thinking about doing it. Please give any advice you would have for any young college athletes around the world? My main thing is probably to stay the course because you probably come in as a freshman like Ricky Guillory and 
play a lot of minutes, or you can come in and not play that much, and the coach may not like you, and you might have ups and downs. But if anything, just just stay the course and stay confident. Any special go-to moves when you're on the court that you love to use in the game? When I go baseline, I love to do the reverse layup. I feel like it works for me nine out of ten times. And either that or the one dribble pull up. I heard you had a strong up and under that you like to use on the court. What about that right there? The bait. Yeah, In other words, yeah, that's that's my favorite all time move. Just if I'm going baseline and I see the big man's coming, I'll make a move in the air and see if I can get to the other side. Use the room for protection. How was your changes from college to college? Was it tough when you left Club Christian? Man? Was it like mentally or physically just just challenging? Uh, yeah, it was tough because I. You know, coming from LCU, I was pretty much comfortable there and met a lot of people, and I really didn't want to leave. But at the same time, I kind of knew what I wanted to accomplish in my college career. So it was tough mentally, but physically, I wouldn't say it wasn't that bad. Okay. So what is your greatest game memory from high school? From high school, it was either scoring 36 or... One in one uh in one quarter I had fifteen. What about when you were at LCU? LCU, uh, I'd have to say when we were down twenty or so in the second half, and I only had four points in the first. I came back and had seventeen in the second half. What it about was, what about higher than you were? Shit. Uh, Scoring 17 against Concordia, and then the back of the bus crew, Rick, Johnny, Willie, Rip, I mean, just all of the memories are just something I always have with. Now, what are you most proud of when it comes to him? Either on or off the court, doesn't matter. Oh, God. No, seriously. Oh, my God. I don't know, I can't believe y'all wanted me to answer this question. It's hard to answer that question for real. I'm just really proud of him to, for, for, for sticking it out, you know? I, I know that he got frustrated when he came to basketball for many reasons, not feeling like he had the playing time he should have gotten. Um, I'm feeling like he put the work in, but not being rewarded for it and not being treated fairly in a lot of ways. Um, I know that he had dreams and aspirations to go to a D1 school. And Memphis had a really, really strong interest in him. And he was really, really disappointed that he didn't qualify academically to go to Memphis. And so I kind of thought he would give up, but I'm just really proud of him that he stuck it out, you know, that he didn't give up, that he gave it his best, and I don't know, I'm just really, really, really proud of him that he was just patient, and he never quit, and that was something that I had always tried to instill in him, is that once you start something, that you need to see it through, you know, that everything is not going to be the way you want it to be. Everything won't go perfect because life is not perfect. And you need to be willing to, to take the good with the bad. Do you see yourself as a mama boy? Yeah, uh, my mom has always had a big, big uh, impact on my life and also my career. No matter if I was middle school, high school, even in Arkansas, LCU, she was, she always happened to make a game. And, Tell me what I did wrong, what I did right, and I mean, she was just the person that I can always lean on and just tell her like, this is okay, and like, like she's the one that like always had faith in me no matter what. So she's been my backbone ever since. Just enough.
love for the city, so I get by. Money never changed how I felt when I risk my life for a dollar, homie. Nah, I don't think so. Greed breeds jealous niggas out here when we in infos. Catching niggas slipping, pulling a bullet in his tempo. Oh, me, it's the same rules. Money talks simple. My Kim folk. Um, I just always want him to, to follow his dream and there was something that I used to tell him all the time is that never let anyone make you feel like you can't do something if you feel it in your heart that you can do whatever you want to do and protect your dream so I just want to tell him to protect his dream if you still in your heart of hearts still want to play if this is not it for you then go for it you know you have resources and things that you can do to to try to continue to to play ball if you want to continue to play ball um i just want him to protect his dream and i just want him to know that the choices that he made now especially coming up on graduation from college these are very very influential choices the choices that you make now are going to affect how your life what your life is going to be like, where are you going to go in life. So I just want them to, to make wise choices, make smart choices, um, think about your choices and how it affects other people, and just live your life and be happy. And I could never be more proud of you. He has been the best thing, the best gift that God has ever gave me. And I'm so proud of him.